While the PBA Finals are far from over, we asked Mark Molina who he thinks can bag the Finals MVP trophy. And of course, uh, remember, this is Sir Mark's pick. And of course, we have to emphasize he's Sir, uh, Sir Mark. Uh, he is not part of the deciding body of who <laughs> picks the Finals MVP of the PBA. So, we go first to the TNT Tropang Giga because they could win it in game number six. And his pick here is an unbiased one, I might add. Uh, former FEU Tamarao, <laughs> RR Pogoy. Uh, Coach Mark, when you look at RR, why do you think he should win Finals MVP? He's been the most consistent player from Game 1 to Game 5 for, for TNT. There were games that Jason Castro played well. There are games that Mikey Williams played well. Game 5 uh, belonged to uh, Kelly Williams. But if you look at it in totality, who is there every single time? Who is the given player for TNT, both offensively and defensively? He's been checking CJ Pellis as well. Yeah. It's been our Pogoy hands down to me. No question about it. And can I just add there, huh, that... Uh, it's not, and, and it's not because I'm not going to Yeah, I'm yeah, not, yeah, not saying <laughs> that either. True. Oh, <laughs> and uh, just look at the cursory, you look at the numbers, and of course, just watching the game itself. Even Paulina agrees yes. that uh, we can finals MVP. To, <laughs> and, uh, you know, this was, uh, by the way, she watched while really enjoying her time. Right? <laughs> so, ito muna. Uh, when you have uh, Roger Pogoy performing the way he, that he is right now, can you make an argument for someone else in TNT? Because people might say Jason Castro has won them a few games despite not having his numbers, talking about our, our Pogoy. Or Mikey Williams exploded in, in the last game and arguably what is uh, the pivotal game of the series. Is there any argument for anyone else? I don't think it's Mikey because Mikey's not having the same series he had in the last finals last year. It can be if Jason Castro plays in Game Six, we don't, it, which is a big if, and he plays the same way and hits an, another clutch shot the way he did in Game One, then I would say maybe Jason Castro. Yeah. But as of now, it's RR Pogoy. All right, Pauline, can you preface us here? Uh, help uh, ask us. Let's ask Sir Mark again, Sir Mark, uh, who he has for San Miguel. Oh, how about for San Miguel, let's say they win, who would be the Finals MVP for you? This is an easy choice. It's, it's, it's it June Mark. Mark. It has to be. No, nobody else. It's Are June you Mark. sure? <laughs> <laughs> if I say someone else, baka mag yeah, 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 mag tayo tayo on air. It's, really, oh. it's really June Mark. And, and hands down, I, I think 99% of people who would ask, who's watching the Finals, would say it's June Mark Fajardo. Numbers-wise, impact-wise. Everything. He's been the most consistent uh, force for the for San Miguel. Although I must say, June was producing the numbers, but they're still down. Yeah. They're not going to win if nobody else from the other players, specifically a CJ Perez, if they don't step up in Game Six and produces CJ Perez like numbers, they're not going to win. Again, his numbers here for the finals: 20.8 points per game, 17.2 rebounds per game, as to go with 1.8 assists per game. Uh, Coach Mark. Is it an issue for you? Na, you mentioned it. They, it's not getting help from a CJ Perez uh, or around, well, at least consistently yeah. throughout the series. Is it an issue for San Miguel that we only have one can real candidate at the moment, or at least you have one real candidate at the moment for San Miguel if they win the finals to be the finals MVP? It is a very big issue because this San Miguel team is built differently from the one that won the five state championships, the one that won five state championships. They gave it the ball to Junmar, let him do the work, and then they surrounded by shooters. This team is not surrounded by shooters. It's only it's Junmar, and they need another guy to, to, to be a playmaker. Mm -hmm. And that has to be CJ Perez. Mm -hmm. But if CJ Perez is not making his shots, he cannot orchestrate, he sometimes becomes uh, passive, it's very hard for San Miguel to win. Because it's hard also to rely on Junmar Fajardo at this stage of his career for 35, 36 minutes. Very difficult right What now. does this say about his legacy? If he does win, uh, let's say San Miguel do find a way to come back and he, they do win, everyone's saying, okay, he's already one of the greatest players to ever play in the PBA. It, but then what does it say a lot more? Because this feels like the first championship, if he does win it, without the old death fight. If he wins it, it adds to his legacy. But if he loses, it doesn't tarnish his legacy at all. I mean, he's, he's, he's the GOAT. He's June Malfajardo. I mean, he's in the, they're in the finals because of him. If they lose out to TNT, I always thought, a lot of people said that TNT, uh, San, San Miguel was favored in this series, but yeah. I never thought that way. I thought it was really straight 50-50 chance for both teams. So in game 6, 50-50 ba or...? I, 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 will, I will favor San Miguel. I think it goes, I think it goes game 7. It goes game 7. Alright, so 
We normally don't have predictions here, but that's one <laughs> prediction here from Coach Mark Molina.